Uh, you're wrong understanding, but carry on. Okay. Can you tell the so here, prostration doesn't necessarily mean worship. God is commanding to demonstrate and to show whether people or his creation is actually obedient to him. So if God commands you to sacrifice or even, you know, take it onto the altar and make slaughter of your daughter, that is not something about being inhuman. It's testing whether you actually have faith in God or not. So when Abraham was commanded by God in his dreams to sacrifice his son, this is testing Abraham whether he has total reliance and faith in God. Here, the command is given to the angels and all those who were there in present with the angels, the jinns. What is the command? I, I, am, I am telling you, the command is there to do this action, bowing down or prostrating to Adam, to demonstrate whether people are obedient to God's commands. His creation is obedient to God's command. Can you tell her to not scream in my ears? Can you first tell her not to scream in my ears? You don't know her? But you are with the, together, right? Okay, fine. So now, do you understand the reason of the command? Do you understand now the reason of the command? Yeah, yeah. So is that, is prostrate can be given to any creation? If your Christian sister does these kind of things like that, right? Very bad behavior. Anyway, so this command that came was not while you and I were here. So when God commands something, this command is to understand in that perspective. Did the command of prostrating to Adam mean worshipping? Or simply people just to prostrate to them? This is a prostration of obedience to God and His commands. So what we found that every angel prostrated, followed the commands of God, they weren't worshipping Adam, because they know none is worthy of worship apart from God. But they know they have to listen to God and God's command. So they're prostrated. But there was another species, you can call it species, a genre of creation called the jinns. And Satan was one of them. Because he was arrogant, he didn't prostrate. Because when God asked him, when I commanded you to prostrate, what prevented you from following that command? He says, Adam, you made him from clay and I am made from smokeless fire. So how can I, I am better than him. So how can I prostrate to him? So uh, Satan did not understand that command is worshiping him. He understood that Adam is actually in a lower form, made of mud and clay. He's made of smokeless fire. So because he's superior to him in creation, his arrogance came into play, and that's why he didn't want to prostrate. So this verse demonstrates to us in our understanding the importance of following God's command and demonstrating that whoever does not follow God's command and becomes arrogant, their end would not be good. They will be justified in going to a place of punishment and torment called the hellfire like Satan is going because he did not repent from that action. He persisted in that action and he will meet his tomb in hellfire. Would you prostrate before anybody else other than God? No, I wouldn't. Why not? Because now, in our realities now today, prostration is exclusively should be to God. In why the past, is, I'm telling you, I'm, I just told you, in the past, prostration could have been done to people who are elderly, someone who's scholarly, to religious people and so on. For example, in the Bible, in the Bible, which you believe in, the brothers of Joseph, the prophet, prostrated to Joseph. This is not a prostration of worship. You appreciate that example because you know the brothers were not worshipping Joseph. At that time, it was okay in the kind of prostration which is a prostration of respect. No, but, so why are they worshipping? 
Submission. Fine. Where are they worshipping? Submission. Fine. Where are they worshipping? Submission. I, I'm very Okay. They Why are they submitting like God? Yes. So the brothers submitted to Joseph like God? Yes. So that Joseph has become a God? No. In his dream, he saw the sun and the moon and the twelve stars worshipping him. Worshipping or prostrating? Yes. Worshipping. What's the word used in Hebrew? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Hebrew. Should you not know? I don't have Hebrew. Should, Should you not know? know? Because it know? may be the words that you now has juxtaposed in it doesn't mean that. Just like Jesus, when you say he's a son of God, actually in most of the cases he's called a servant of God. It makes a difference. Someone called a son of God and a servant of God. So original language is very important. So I humbly and kindly ask you to go back to the original and find out what it is. Because we know many people in the cultures of the old, they prostrated to people. But that prostration doesn't mean they worship him. That wasn't that, worship. That is of submission. It wasn't of worship. Thank you. It was, Fine. It, it Next was question. Submission. Not of worship. Total surrender. Not of worship. Total surrender. Not of worship. Total surrender. You agree it wasn't so, of worship. So, Next question. So, was the devil, Iblis, right in not prostrating before Adam? Was he not right in not prostrating of course before not. Adam? Devil, Shaitan, disobeyed God's command. God didn't tell him to worship someone else. Yeah, you see? That's what he said. God said, prostrate before Adam, which is like an act of worship, which is your, your particular, yeah. particular understanding being imposed in there is not going to work. You have to do hermeneutics properly. Do you understand? When you do hermeneutics, when is you it, do. Is Quran for understanding or um, is it for, for people of intellect and knowledge and reason? Oh. The Quran guides people who are sincere and reasonable. And it will not guide people who are arrogant okay. and insincere. Okay. So if you're one of them, then I can't help you. So if you're sincere and reasonable, you'll realize this prostration is not of worship, it is simply out of demonstrating command of God, whether they're following the commands of God. Iblis or Shaitan disobeyed God's command. That is why he is worthy of being punished because of his disobedience. Next question. Various reasons. One of the main reasons that we understand is this, is to demonstrate to Adam, the first man that God created, that this shaitan is going to be an open enemy. Learn now. Look at him now. He is disobeying me and he is going to try to mislead you while you will be on earth. So be wary and careful of the footstep of Satan, his soldiers, himself. So when you are going to be on this earth and you want to worship God, always be in mind and always be careful about shaitan who will, because of an avowed enemy of yours, try to mislead you. So this was a demonstration of how and why you should be very careful about that particular individual called Satan. So Allah is giving his, uh, his only privilege of being worshipped, Adam, and that is, that is the Iblis. I don't think you have a comparison problem, so why are you keeping on repeating the same thing that I said? It doesn't mean that. We've moved on. Next question. No, we have not moved on. Then I cannot it's continue talking to you anymore because you seem to have a comprehension issue. Do you know when we speak? It's let me, like, let me, let me, like let you me. are the only person who can comprehend the uh, no. uh, Quran. How many Muslims on planet Earth today? Do they understand? Wait, wait, wait one second. How do many Muslims? They understand this? I'm going to tell you okay. precisely that question. How do they understand it? Okay. How many Muslims? You can, you can uh, read in your Arabic. One, one fifth to one quarter of the population is a Muslim. Yes. And guess because, what? Because nobody knows Excuse Arabic. Me. Excuse me. Because Even though they don't know Arabic does make a large number, they know this prostration is not a prostration of worship. You come along and speak as corner as a Christian and you think you know better. Firstly, you, firstly, you firstly, firstly, you don't know the Arabic language, you don't know our tradition.
it for me in English, which it's I can understand. Tells you, yeah. فسجدوا إلا إبليس أبا واستكبر وكان من understand what I'm reading in Arabic? I've just explained to you this exactly what it says in English there. If you don't have a comprehension issue, then that's good. But if you have a comprehension issue, it will be difficult for us to have a dialogue. Look, look, look. All the Muslims, all the Muslims. And everybody else are dumb, is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying you have a comprehension issue. All Muslims, when they read this ayah, they do not understand, like you do, that this prostration is a prostration of worship. So clearly, the comprehension, the lack of comprehension is on your side. So either, either you need to go and learn a bit more about English language or something about linguistic skills. Next question. Are you talking? Are you challenging my English knowledge and knowledge? Yes, and yes. Well, yeah, I, I am. You, you have a problem. It means that you have a problem in okay. English. Okay, let's try English. Let's see whether... Okay, I'm going to test that to you now. No, no, no I'm going to test it. You have no authority. No, no, I'm going to test your English. You have no authority. Because, because you somehow thought that because I'm challenging you when you're a professor of English. Okay, what is... What? I'm no going to test you. Not authority. I'm testing you in, 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 in the spirit of discussion. In the spirit of discussion, I am going to I am going to find out. You have no authority. It's all about authority. In the spirit of discussion, let me tell you why you don't comprehend. Let me tell you why you don't you don't comprehend. If I say there is one fruit called apple and one fruit called banana, apple, banana, and one fruit called orange. One apple, one banana, or one orange. How many fruits are there? Let's see whether you comprehend it. How many fruits? Looks like you have a How many fruits? So, so one second. How many fruits? So because you cannot answer no, no, no. this You're not. How many because fruits? you can't answer this question. No, I have answered. No, you have a comprehension issue as well. <laughs> okay, let me test it. Let me try. It looks like. Hang on. It looks like, like, on. Subject, um, it looks like yeah. every single Christian have a comprehension yeah. issue. So let me know. What we see here is that, that, yes. that Iblis is commanded right. to prostrate before Adam, yeah. and Iblis couldn't do it. Okay. Yeah. So Iblis was and being what was a better my, Muslim. What was sense. my answer? Yes. Yeah. What so was Iblis my answer? Was being a better Muslim. What was my answer? Than, than, than others. Okay? What What does a Muslim mean? A Muslim, someone who submits to Allah. Okay. Hear that? A Muslim means someone who submits to Allah. Yeah. So when Allah commanded him, did he submit to him? Um, no, he didn't. So was he a better Muslim? Uh, because, mic drops. Because, Next question. He wouldn't commit shirk. Fine. This is done. Okay. This Iblis is done. would not commit shirk. This is, Iblis understood it was not about... Iblis would not commit shirk, would he? He would not bow down to Allah. Okay. Yes. Do you know the difference yeah. between... Do you know the difference between... U'abudu and Ushjudu? Iblis was more sensitive um, and yeah. would not bow Hello? down to a creation. Oh, you're going to yeah. discuss between yourself yeah. to understand some bit better? Do you know the difference between worship me, or worship and prostrate? Do you know the difference? Okay. Prostrate is to fall before someone. And what is okay. worship and prostrate? Worship Are they synonymous? Worship is worshiping. Are they synonymous? Honor to someone. Honor, okay. Honor as Are they God. synonymous? Okay, they're not synonymous. Thank no. you. Okay. Here, does the Quran use the word worship or prostrate? Prostrate. Thank you. Okay, so, yes. refute it again. So now, let me let me ask you this question because I think you are likewise as a Christian may have some comprehension issue. So I'm going to ask you this question again. Okay. One apple, one banana, and one orange. How many fruits? How many fruits? Why are you trying to divert? Not diverting. You are diverting. This is an English question. Okay, if I three fruits. Three fruits. Three fruits. Now, one good the father. One got the Son, and one got the Holy Spirit. Yes. How many yes. gods? Yes. Because, because, no, no, no. because you, you cannot discuss the Quran. You cannot discuss the Quran. You prefer to go on to the Trinity. Let me okay. help you something. Let me help you. Why are you, why are you trying to divert? The reason I asked answer. about comprehension issues is he had no issue. Is that, is because that the greatest listen, form listen. of worship? Okay. When we say one fruit, banana, orange and apple, Your he had no hesitation in saying three fruits. Yeah. But when we talk about one God the Father, one God the Holy Spirit, one got the sun. How many gods? Is there How many gods? Any way How many gods? You would worship. Come on. 
How many gods? Is there any way? How many gods? Now he's not even listening. Is there any way? One second, you're gonna divert. Sorry, we're not gonna divert, man, sir. One second, you wanna divert, but we don't. You Um, have some comprehension um, issue. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening to you, so one second. I'm asking the same question. Hold on, relax. No, no. Do you want me to answer? Is there any other way you show worship? Can I answer? Can I answer? Is there any other way you show worship? Can I answer? Other than prostrate. Can I answer? Thank you. Hold on. Now, one God the Father, no, one God the Holy Spirit, we don't one God the Son. How many gods? We don't want to die on the Trinity. It's called comprehension. We don't want to die on the Trinity. It's called comprehension. We don't want to die on the okay. Trinity, man, sir. Let me ask you. You speak English? Right. Listen carefully. One fruit, apple, banana, and one fruit, and orange, one fruit. How many fruits? Three fruits. Yeah, they're on our way. Of course they will run away. So know. now, if you have one God the Father, one God the Holy Spirit, and one God the Son, how many gods? Three. three. Did he answer? He knows. He knows he will not answer. He knows it's three, but you have a comprehension issue. Huh? Answer it. All the diseases in the heart. He refused to bow down no. to any other Holy Spirit thing other God. than God. Tell us. Cut, cut, cut. Yes. No free that, publicity. That, that's what you do. No, no free publicity. We will refute. We will refute when it comes necessary. No, you could not. No. Refute. You could not refute. That's what I'm saying. You have a comprehension issue. Satan, you know what? Satan is better. Learn some English and we can talk. You know what? Why don't you give us an English lesson and then we can talk. Okay. There's no point talking to her when she doesn't understand English.